All right, people, welcome back to some more Fake Card Friday. So you guys already know the power of Dora. You guys know power of Dora. Someone made a rank up version of Dora. The chaos number for Dora, and oh my God, we gotta look at this because you already know that Dora has the power. So this card must have the power. Power, because you know, is it? Let's find out if it's worth. Go ahead and ranking up Dora, because you know Dora's already the power. So let's find out. This is number C eighty one. Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Dora Unstoppable. Unstoppable! You can't stop this. Too strong. It is a rank 11, of course. Earth Machine XC effect monster with 4,200 attack and 5,000 defense. Holy shit, them stats, though. It can also be made with three level 11 monsters, which I seriously doubt you're going to be doing because there's not a lot of level 11 monsters. You can slap fucking three Terra Incarnates on top of each other before they kill each other. <laughs> but wow. But of course, you're supposed to rank this up, right? C number. All right. So, uh, let's look at the effect and see the power of the unstoppable. We can only use each effect of number eighty, number C eighty one, super dreadnought, rail cannon, Dora, unstoppable. I'm just gonna say, un unstoppable Dora. All right. She, she's a super cool explorer, right? but now she's fucking unstoppable. What the fuck, Swiper? No, unstoppable. <laughs> Get the fuck out of Dora. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> All right, you can only use the effect once per turn. During either player's turn, you can activate this effect. During this phase, cards you control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects. This phase, period. So you go into that battle phase, you fucking detach, make your shit unaffected. So nah, yeah, you your shit's not getting touched. No mirror force and nothing, just unaffected. That's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this effect activation. So no. And I go effect. They make myself unaffected. You're like, um, chain finish chain. Like, no. You cannot activate. No no no, not today. Oh my god. It's fucking Spells before power. Oh, well, they did say they didn't say double for no reason. That's powerful. That's really powerful. Of course, you should have. Depending on when you make the this card, if you just go, you know, two level tens XC door rank up, then you should have three XC materials. So the power. Wait a minute. During the first turn, you can activate. Oh wait, you don't even have to touch an XC material for that effect. Damn, that's just like nah, Don't touch me. Like whoo, it does have a G touch XC material effect. So let's go ahead and look at that. During either player's turn, you can attach one XC material from this card and declare one card name. Cards with that name and their effects cannot be used until the end of this turn. During either player's turn, nigga. So, literally, if your opponent knows what you have, let's say you you fucking go, <laughs> and they know what you have, they can just go, alright, well, uh, unstoppable door effect, detach, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call whatever I know you have. You can't, you can't, it's, it's pretty much prohibition. It's, it's pretty much like fucking, uh, side blocker during either player's turn. The power. The unstoppable Dora. Like, nigga. I mean, I get that you gotta rank it up on Dora, but damn. Like, this, this, this is really old power. Uh, so let's go ahead, like, you and go ahead and look at what, uh, the creator said and then people's, uh, response to the comment. Alright. So, he said, uh, my last train card was a bit underwhelming. I, I, I don't know <laughs> what his last card was. To make up for this, I made a card that I think is interesting. It's a C version of Superior Door. To keep a Superior Door's theme and at the same time upgrade it, it can now, as a quick effect, give all your cards blanket effect immunity. Yes, all of your cards are now the Minaga, but only for the phase. So use it wisely. Furthermore, to keep with... It's nullification theme. It, it can detach. Its detach effect is quick side blocker. All right. Uh, this should cause a lot of interesting situations. If used correctly, you can basically use it as a mini shock lock. Keep declaring the one card that caused you to lose. All right. Note that side blocker. It works on cards that are that are on the field already. Now, if you chain this to activation of the card, you can declare the same card. If not sure. If the former effect was still resolved correctly, I don't know. He, he started getting an in there. It started to be just rambling. All right, so this is uh, some guy. He looked at the card to see what he said. So he said, to be honest, I was expecting something very overpowered, but I think this is rather than money. It dies to effect negation, but it should, and its effects are both elegant and balanced, in my opinion. It's refreshing to see a legitimately good rank up for once. My only concern is... It's, it's minor is that I 
would make it an unaffected clause, the detach effect, because otherwise it becomes very difficult to deal with for a deck which doesn't run that much effect negation, which would make the side block effect one that requires no detach. I'd say minor. In general, I'm a fan, so this guy's pretty much just saying switch it. Alright, then another guy says, I'm not entirely sure on the second effect belt. I like it better than some of the alternate suggestions, but I don't know. Maybe make it has a require. May, maybe make it require having its normal form as in the C material. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not like anybody's gonna fucking do three level 10s. I mean, I mean, three level 11s, like, holy shit, but. Um, I guess. I mean, it seems like generally when it comes to uh, a rank up monster, you should have an effect that requires you to have the uh, previous form as an extreme material still. But, hey, uh, there we go. <laughs> so this is, like I said, this is number C81 Superior Dreadnought Rail Cannon Dora Unstoppable, which I believe, if this is a real car, would be the longest name in Yu-Gi-Oh! I believe Dora is the longest name right now. So, but this is clearly longer. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, tell me what you guys think about this fake card. Uh, is it OP? Is it fun? Is it interesting? How would you change it? So, looking forward to seeing what you guys have to talk about it in the comment section below. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.